Thurm, Probably welcome back. Are you readjusted to the time change here? Or are you still a little pie-eyed? <clears throat> when's call, good. Did Daryl call you? Daryl, no, Daryl did not call me. He's in town, I guess. He, oh, he is? Yeah, Janine Steve offered to put him up for oh, free yeah? in his gigantic compound. And all the hotels are so expensive, man. They're working, and I was like, yeah, call me, man. Like, you can stay at me. Sarah's out of town. We can hang out. All right. <laughs> I got nothing. Crickets. He didn't call, he called, okay. didn't call you either? Didn't call me. I mean, my house is full. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> My, so, it's so my better house. Look yeah, at I know, house, right? <laughs> yes, he would. My house is. We had, a, yeah, we had a baby, a new grandbaby last week, so my, she's gone oh. for that. And uh, so That's it's me. It's me. Yeah, the population number is eight. Me and Vern. Eight. Population me and Vern in Taskerville just keeps going up. Let me tell you something. It's no easy task keeping me wet, fed, and watered while she's gone. <laughs> I got like, what? Am I, I'm like, I'm kind of hungry. What do I do? Right. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, but order good in. to have you back, man. I and you were over there. How the trip go? Overall, I mean, no, the the game. Stunk. Yeah. Uh, what about no, the we, trip, had a, we had a great trip, man. Uh, <clears throat> October fourth, we were there, uh, and uh, Annie and Lil Thurm got the same uh, same birthday, five years apart. So we celebrated their birthday. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then I had some things I had to do. She yeah, took them over. Yeah. She took them over to uh, Thurm had Brussels. to Brussels. Yeah. Thurm yeah. had to hang out with me on she Saturday what? or Friday. Brussels. Really? Belgium? Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Took the train over about two hours. Went over and. Saw some auto show. You know, Lil Thurm loves cars, so right. went over there, and he was just in heaven. Oh, but F1 stuff? <laughs> yeah. All, no, not F1, just like Model T cars oh, from okay, way okay, back okay, all I the way to oh, now. Yeah. Like, they have, like, a Bugatti there. It's, like, one of one, okay. and it costs $19 million. Oh, is that all? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Right, <laughs> and, so, and it still only and has four wheels. And it probably belongs to uh, Ronaldo, probably. That's probably, the, that's the yeah. rumor. So. Right. Okay. And then Saturday, you and I had to do the thing at the Admiralty. That place was a madhouse. The place was a madhouse inside and out. Let me but from like something. four in the afternoon. <laughs> I saw yes. the I saw the line going down the street there in London. And I got, and I, then when we broke to you guys live, we were like, ah, right. and I, I was like, dude, I am going home taking a nap. I was, yeah. I'm so glad I didn't yeah. make that trip. Yeah, them, them, man, they were. Well, I tell you what, they took over London. Oh yeah, they t- I, I mean, saw I all could, kinds I could, of stuff. Yeah. Only only Jacksonville Jaguar jersey that I saw. I went to an event with uh, Maurice Jones Drew. And Roger Goodell, who is a former Jaguar, yeah, who is a former, yeah, and Roger Goodell, and it was one guy had his jersey on. It was like that's all I saw all week. Mm. Wow, I, <laughs> yeah, they were grossly outnumbered. I'll say, I'll say this though, it's good and it's bad. Certainly, we're you know proud of the fan base. They showed up big time. I mean, they went over. And oh, they, they made a difference during right, the game so, too. Right. So the problem with that is all the people in London are be going. You know what? Nah, you can bring the Bills back. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can bring the Bills back. Just don't play the Jaguars. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do s- I've been bills. over there three times. The Bills Kryptonite. Yeah. Yeah. They like the Bills Kryptonite. That was, was that Doug Marone? Mm. Yeah. Doug exactly. Marone. We didn't, play, very, we didn't yeah. play well over there in the nope. 90s when we went over to. We went to, Bur- we went to Berlin once and we went to uh, Wembley once. I don't know who. We, we played Philadelphia. We played Philly in Wembley. We played the Minnesota Vikings in Olympic Stadium in, in Berlin. Berlin. Yeah. In Germany. Yeah. 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 And, uh, I hate it. They were preseason games. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. They were preseason yeah. games. Yeah. So I don't know. Where. Yeah, so you guys probably didn't play a whole lot. Marv didn't play you guys. I, I actually probably played not. a little bit in the in the Germany game. Okay. No, the Wembley game. All right. I played a little bit in that. Cause what was it against who? Philly. 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 Oh, yeah. That was when um, uh, Buddy Ryan was – I think Buddy Ryan was might a coach. Been, might Marv have been. Lee was a coach, and they wanted to scrimmage, and Marv said, ain't no way we scrimmaging. Not yeah. over here. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Yeah, because you know yeah, Marv – you know, it was Buddy Ryan's defense, you know, and you know, I'm sure they were physical well, every that, single practice. Well, yeah, and Marv didn't want to, you know, Marv was protect, I would say protecting us, but, hey, it's preseason. I'm not going to have my us. guys over Reggie there. Reggie White, Jerome Brown, Seth, Seth Joyner, Joyner, like yeah. those cats. <laughs> yeah, Eric Marv Allen. Like, yeah. <laughs> Marv was like, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're nah, good we don't man, <laughs> Is that the same game? We didn't – that was in, was it the year before we played them in, in – the stadium here, and we were up twenty-four to three or something before Marv got his head set on. Yeah, Remember that? Pretty much, yeah. Wait, and that's when La- that's an Marv got set on. Head set on. Oh, he had his head set on. Before he went like this, no, it was twenty-four nothing, on. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and that was the same game that uh, Randall, Randall Cunningham, Cunningham had, threw a ninety-five yarder. Yeah, Bruce Fred had it. Yeah, Fred Barnett Bruce had it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, so, yeah. anyway. That's Fred old. Barnett. Eric, I think that's – I think that's – like, We can talk about that when the week man. we played a Philly. Uh, Gabe Davis Eagles. finally broke that record for longest touchdown in the stadium last year with the 98-yarder against, against Steelers. Yeah. Dude, we're so old. Yeah. We're so old. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, let's talk. Why don't we? Why don't we turn the page and just talk Bills Giants a little bit? Um, yeah. No Sa- Saquon Barkley's missed the last three games with the high ankle sprain. Um, he was the a reporter- game time decision. Yeah, last week the reporters at Giants practice today said they didn't see him doing anything. He was getting his ankle retaped. So who even knows if he's practicing today? But you think the Bills have injuries? These guys they don't have anybody. Uh, Daniel Jones. I don't know if he's going to play. Maybe Ty- we might see Tyrod. Well, you know what? I, just to sum that up very, very quickly, they're not very good. No, they're not. Um, they're not very good. Yeah. And it's their offensive line that's the biggest problem. And three of their offensive linemen are not practicing today, including their starting center and their starting left tackle, who hasn't played for the last three weeks. And I think Daniel Jones is shell-shocked. No internal clock because he's thinking, first read, second read, i got to get out of here. Or I'm going to die in the pocket. I don't have my guy behind me. <clears throat> he's not 100%. Well, yeah, that's yeah, the other I, thing. Everybody's teeing off on Jones because if you don't have Barkley, what else do you have to worry about? Yeah, they don't have anything right now. I mean, they're struggling. You know, well, I, I feel bad for him. Yeah. You know, Dave was a good guy. You know, he's one of St. Franny guy. You right. Know? Yeah, so, right, you, know, right, yeah. you, you know, as an assistant coach, you know, you, this is what you want, an opportunity to become a head coach. I mean, had a great, successful year yeah. last year. They you overachieved know? last year. Yeah, very overachieved last year. And then, you know, you had a whole lot with Saquon and – Gave Daniel Jones all the money, and it just has gone the opposite way for him and this mm-hmm. football team. And you know the Giants. I mean, they're they're a pretty proud organization. Yeah, you know, and the, their fans are impatient. Yeah, very much. I, That's about do you any think New York at fan, this but. point, <laughs> right. at the way they have looked and the way this has gone, um, I think you almost have to. They should have been kind of in reset mode last year because I've, you know, you got to know that they took that job in New York knowing they had a, they had some work to do with their roster, their players, and all that. Let alone giving Daniel Jones a contract and getting Saquon Barkley signed up. If they wouldn't have had so much success last year, and maybe tried to go and double right. down on the mm-hmm. talent they had in the room and said, "Listen, we're going to stick with our plan. We're going to, you know." Daniel Jones, you're tearing it down would have been easier this year. We're not paying you, Daniel Jones. We'll, we're not paying you to take one. We're going to do it. And we're going to go through it. Now it seems like it would have been a better way, and you would have hoped you'd be one and four. Right. Now they are one and four. <laughs> yeah. You know? And they weren't hoping to be one and four. Right. It's not unlike McDermott taking over here. Nothing was expected in 2017. They overachieved. They make the playoffs. And then they go 6 and 10 in 2018 when their offensive line was a giant problem. Yep. And they went nowhere fast. The Giants are kind of mirroring that a little bit here in year two under Dable. Overachieve in year one and now struggle mightily. Why? Because yeah, of offensive line problems in year two. Yeah, but that it was a little different in, in you know, for the Bills because they, they felt like, and we felt it too, they got their guy. They drafted a quarterback. They right. drafted their they drafted guy, their and he guy. was on the ascension. And the Giants did not. You could plug in some guys on the offensive line as you went along. You know what I mean? You could. You, we knew that was on the horizon. I am willing to bet that the <laughs> Giants draft a quarterback this year. Wherever they are in round one, Joe Shane's pulling a Brandon Bean, and he's going and getting a quarterback. Watch it happen. What? Watch it happen. Yeah, that's going to be probably several teams around the league that do that too. Sean right. Peyton, Denver, going to get a quarterback. Yes. <laughs> and mean. it's a good class this year, but <laughs> – Unless you're at the top, right. you're not getting Caleb Williams. So. Right. So I mean, you just yeah, keep an eye on the standings, <laughs> and that th- that's the guy. I mean, they're gonna everybody's gonna. There be are going. others in the class though. The Penix kid is good. Yeah. There's a couple other guys. And yeah, they're uh, talking about the same thing with, in Chicago with Justin Fields. You, yeah. I mean, you know who else you're talking it's, about? It's like three. It's like five teams. That could. Carolina's possibly. zero and five, but they just got their guy. Bryce Young. Yeah. Um, Arizona. Mm. Yeah, they're talking about trading Kyler Murray. Kyle, yeah. Right. I mean, it's – Then you've got the Giants, <laughs> Chicago, and Minnesota all you know, happy. I am happy just so am. glad that we're not in that conversation. We, we don't live in that world. Listen, we don't so live in that here's world, Here's where we baby. are. Carolina, Arizona, the Giants, Chicago, Minnesota, and then you've got Denver and – wait, let me just savor it – New England, all Ooh. one and four or worse. <laughs> So, all of those clubs are now in, you know, in the sweepstakes to get one of these guys. Yeah. Right? New England so is. You're, you're, so, you're probably going to see something that you've never seen before as far as trade-wise yeah. and getting rid of players to get a quarterback. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the injuries that the Bills are, you know, kind of navigating their way through right now, Thurm, because you got several yeah. players 
you know, Milano and Daquan Jones go on IR, IR. two guys that were playing top-notch ball yep. uh, to lump on top of Tredavious White, who you lost the week before. <sighs> yeah. um, but you've got two very beatable opponents the next couple of weeks in the Giants and the Patriots the next two games. So it really affords the coaching staff an opportunity to kind of see what they have and what they can do with the guys that are filling in, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you got two winnable games. It's kind of a good part of the schedule to have this problem to yeah. figure things out, don't you think? I think so. I think they could, I, yeah, I think you have to figure out. I'd like to see a stat, and I'm sure you guys probably talked about it. I'd like to see a stat of play action, out of, play action and run out of under the center. Those yeah. are two things that I will I, like. Like what? Are, like if he's under the center and we're running the ball, how much are we averaging? Yeah. I would say a good five well, yards. He did the thing. And oh, you did. Oh, Josh okay. is like he said he did it for passing play action pass. Josh has like got this perfect quarterback rating, and they were like, he's got nine like, touchdowns, nine no TVs, picks, no right. pick. I mean, it's like unbelievable. His completion They're, percentage I mean, is over eighty. The, the James Cook five carries for minus two yards. That bugs me. Well, yeah, but it's because they only ran play action five times last week. Why? I don't know why it's they went away from it. Um, your guess okay. is as good as mine. All right, don't, because, get, don't get me heated. Because their here. run game's better out of play action. Yeah. The protection's better out of play action. And the passing game is more efficient out of play action. And for some reason, they went away from it. Away from we it. Asked, I asked Dan Orlovsky yesterday when we had him on, what is, what is it that a defense might do that would steer a coordinator away from calling it? Right. Like, is there anything that a defense can throw at an offensive coordinator on film? They see it, oh, maybe I shouldn't run play action this week. Is there anything like that that comes up? And he said, not from Jacksonville. Not from Jacksonville. He said, there's nothing that Jacksonville really puts on tape that would steer me away from that if, right. if I was a coordinator. I'm like, okay, well, I, I, then I don't have an answer as to why that happened. So you're asking me? I don't have an answer <laughs> you for you, Thurman. Maybe you have an answer. I don't have an answer. Okay. I, I but give, I would like to I see wanna, it return. I want to give an answer, but I'm not going to give an answer. Their percentages went down. So I know they ran. I, my naked eye calling the game said, I'm seeing less play action out here. And then going back and looking at the plays, that right. was in fact the case. So hopefully right. they go back to it. On Sunday night, wristbands will be placed on seats prior to the game against the Giants. The blue light-up wristbands will be synced to the stadium lights as the team introductions take place. Also, be sure to check back to Highmark Stadium Twitter later this week for an instructional video from one Steve Tasker on Ooh. how to use the wristbands. Wow. It. it should be good. Man. Little how to, you, you know, you, come to the source, Therm. You, you want to ask me? Mean, you're all up He's everywhere. Place. So in the Talk stadium, man, he's everywhere. He's, he's like, when we say hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah. You guys say it. Yeah. I'm like, wow. he wasn't physically in London, but he no, was there. But he was there a couple, at least uh, every quarter. Well, they work me like a dog. Right <laughs> here, man, that's just hard. Well, work. you know what? No, <laughs> dude, you, you do a very good job. I appreciate. <laughs> we appreciate. Listen, it. if it wasn't for Brownie, this whole I would, I you know. You, yeah. I would be exposed as the fraud that I am <laughs> in the broadcasting world. You're great. You're great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was I don't fun, think I could have pulled it great. off. Great. Hey, tell yeah. me about this great stadium. Oh, awesome stadium. I know Beautiful the field. Stadium. I know the players didn't like the field, and we, you know, all that. Blah, blah. We can fix yeah. that, but the stadium's pretty awesome. Stadium's Fans pretty awesome. Love it. Well, you won't have to worry about that in the Bills' new stadium because it's going to be grass. It's grass anyway. So, yeah, yeah, but, you know, I want to, you it know. Was a nice stadium. Was it? Very nice. Stadium. Very nice. Yeah. So it's, yeah. <laughs> but I keep telling people. I keep looking at the fact that, yeah. It's over there yeah. compared to, like, when this one is built five years through right. the blizzard and everything. Right, right. It, whoa, it'll be a little different. Yeah. Yeah. It's it is gonna getting beat up-wise and yeah, things like yeah, that. They yeah. did say with the canopy, the Bills canopy will be the same, except the only thing it won't have is that glass extension. Did you see the glass extension on the top of the canopy? So you had a regular metal canopy, and then there was, like, a, yes, glass, a glass extension. glass extension, yes. The, the, the glass extension, extension is not going to be on be the there. stadium here. Okay. The only way the canopy is going to be different um, from gotcha. what I was told. I tell people now this all the time. The new stadium, they're going. I think everybody's going to love the new stadium, but it is going to be an adjustment, you know? I mean, you got, like, 50 years in this joint. Yeah. And you're gonna have to, you you know, where you're gonna walk, when you're gonna, when you're gonna go in, how you're gonna get there, and More all that. More technology, and then, yeah. and it'll be fun, and it'll be fresh and new. It's gonna take a while to get into your root, you know, your, your game routine, routine yeah, you your know, because everybody here, I mean, it's like they, they know in and how to get there. out. Yeah. Everybody parked in the same. It's like church. Everybody right. parked in the same spot, sitting in the same pew, 
you know, in this, you know, that everybody's in the exact same spot every week. So yeah. it's gonna take a while for more me to elevators, back you know. So yeah, 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 <laughs> right? yeah. You can't walk up. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta ride up. Right, you yeah. gotta ride up. Yeah. So yeah, it'll yeah, it'll be totally different. You're but gonna, it'll be fun. I think people are really gonna love it. I think they are. It's it's it is gonna be an adjustment though. No yeah, question. No question. No matter how much better it'll be. Yeah. You didn't get to a soccer game though, did you, Therm? No, I did not get to a soccer Over there. game. No. Do they have soccer games like every day? No. The, during the season, it's typically on Saturdays, uh, occasionally Sundays, and then once in a while, a Monday night game, taking a yeah. page out of the NFL's book. And then the top four teams that finished last year play in the Champions League, which is, which is a European tournament. Mm -hmm. The top four teams from the English League, top four teams from the Spanish League, the French League, the Italian League, and I think one other league. I want to say Germany. Germany's league. So there's like 60 gazillion soccer players, huh? Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, mean I'm just talking about Europe. <coughs> yeah. yeah. They, got, they right. got leagues in South America. They got leagues right. in Mexico. They got MLS here. When we, when we flew African in league. that Tuesday night, when we got to a certain point, you just looked down, lit up soccer fields, soccer fields, soccer fields. They're all they're spread yeah. out all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All over. You got the J League in Japan. I mean, they got leagues everywhere, man. <laughs> Everywhere, pick a country. You know that's the problem. There ain't big. There ain't enough big fat guys to play our sport. <laughs> there ain't no offensive linemen out there. That's part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know they can't. Because guys like you and me can play pro soccer. Oh yeah, and, right. I that's my point. Yeah. I mean, you like Messi's like five nothing. Yeah, he's five. <laughs> he's shorter than me. Yeah, he's five five and a half. <laughs> yeah. So you know, but he plays like the balls on a string on his foot. Right. I mean, yeah. They're, that's it's a skill. Do anything he wants. But I think the, when it's you called look ball at, master. <clears throat> when you look at the leagues over here compared to over there, I mean, I mean, he got here yeah. the first day, and I mean, he scored ten goals. Oh my God! He's <laughs> lighting these guys up. These guys <laughs> right, like, MLS right. is MLS is closing the gap, but yes, it closing is not. Closing the gap. Closing it is the not gap. there yet. Okay. Classic no, marketing there by Brownie. We're closing the gap. It's closing well, the gap. See, it could be there, but. Our great athletes, LeBron and Steph Curry, they play basketball well, and yeah. other sports. So if those guys yeah, played you're, soccer. You're closing well, the gap. You're throwing a bucket well, of Well, that's why the Messi signing is so important because the next step for MLS here in the States is to begin to have more, more European players on your teams yeah. to raise the level of play and thereby raise the league's profile as well. Yeah, they need well, to hurry up. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> you're closing I mean, I the gap. No, I love the game. I, I love the game, but I, I want to see more. Yeah, yeah I you're closing see the more. gap by throwing a bucket of dirt in the Grand Canyon, bro. <laughs> you got a long way to go. Messi's not a bucket of dirt, buddy. Number one player in the world. <laughs> okay, he's a bulldozer. That's fine. He's got a long way to go. Bucket of dirt in the Grand Canyon. No Boy, respect, I love, man. I love you, man. <laughs> I'm going right. to use that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a bunch of them. I know he does. The, 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 the copper mine over here is starting to take shape. I'm liking it. I can see corners and walls and stuff. Yeah, they're done blasting already. Yeah, they're already. done blasting. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've been putting stuff in now instead of taking stuff out for yeah. a while. Concrete should be coming up pretty soon, so I think. Okay. Oh, that's, those things aren't concrete over there that I'm looking at? Or are those just forms? Just forms, I think. Like I, concrete I haven't seen it in a two or oh, three weeks. Right, so right. I got to yeah. go and see what. It looks what good. These, I can see it, man. It's, it's, coming, it's coming along. Yeah, yeah it's coming it along. Yeah. It'll but be good. We gotta we gotta finish out in this one first. Bring your rain gear for Sunday. Oh, oh really? As beautiful oh. as last game. So they have to run the football. Give it a rest. <laughs> and Give I, it a I rest. Think I, I think we'll wrap up on that note, Therm. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and working that in. There are people out there that watch at home. And they're playing over-unders on how many times Thurm's going to mention running the football. Well, that was two today. I don't know if anybody's a winner out there, but you just never know. You just never the know. Over-under is, I think it was two and a half. So mm. if, you, if you had the under, you win yeah. this week. Yeah. Thurm, thanks for coming in. Always good to see you. We'll All see right, you out man. here on Sunday night. Appreciate it. Yeah. Might have to wear number four if you really want people to run the ball or something here. 28, 22, one of those one three. Of the, Put yeah. one of them on. And we'll, see if, on it, we'll see if it makes a difference. <laughs> James the first half and Harrison Murray the second half.